Manga Wido. Hi, Motoki. I'm a middle school student. I'm just another face in the crowd. My childhood friend Kento is in my class, but ever since we got to middle school, I haven't heard him speak a word. Because of his family situation, Kento has lived with his grandma since fifth grade. He's gradually turned more into a delinquent. The way he looks and talks is scary, so he just stopped talking. I had other friends in my class, so I had no problems with my school life. One day, I fell in love at sight for the first time in my life. Nice to meet you. I'm Mari Shinohara. The class started to stir at the sight of the new transfer student. Shinohara is a super hottie, but everyone froze when they saw her leg. For some reason, she had a prosthetic leg. When I was small, I lost my leg in an accident. I don't even remember having it. I'll try hard to not be a nuisance, but if I am, I'm sorry in advance. I'd be happy if we could get along. Shinohara was soon surrounded by the class. Even though she lost her leg during her childhood, you almost wouldn't be able to tell at a glance due to her behavior being so natural. It was as if she didn't care about having a prosthetic leg. But when it came to stairs or PE, it seemed impossible for her to move like the rest of us. I've seen that sad smile on her face many times. Every time a classmate lends a hand, she's always certain to give them a cute smile as thanks. Everyone gradually started wanting to see Shinohara smile, so they started helping her more. Shinohara-san, I'll carry that for you. But this is my duty for the day. It's fine, I'll do it. You just take a seat. Thank you. Sorry for always causing trouble. Shinohara isn't just a pretty face. She apparently lives in a mansion and is loaded. The girls she brought to her house to hang out were in awe. Since she didn't show off that she was rich, that also left a good impression on everyone. There were some girls that thought, who does she think she is, or get off your high horse. Kento and his delinquent group thought she was annoying. She's been spoiled to hell. Shinohara was guarded by the girls that loved her, so the days went by peacefully. That day I gazed at her from afar, thinking how cute she was. Everyone was staying after school to prep for the cultural festival, but there was an unexpected happening. Shinohara was sitting on the floor making a poster, but when she went to stand up with a bucket of paint in her hand, maybe it was because the bucket was heavy, but she staggered, and she accidentally got paint on a girl next to her. Ah! Chia-chan, are you okay? But only a little bit of paint got on her, all thanks to the guy who caught the paint bucket in midair. They were able to avoid being covered in paint, but the one holding the bucket was Kento. With an incredibly annoyed look on his face, he looked at the girls, then glared at Shinohara. S sorry I- Hey, you with the leg! You shouldn't be carrying heavy stuff like this! Think a bit, would you? But, but I don't want to be a burden, so I want to do things by myself. But this accident went and happened. I'm sorry. Huh? You don't want to be a burden? If you can't do it, then don't! Leave it to someone else! You're dumb as a box of rocks! Kento said that and left. He's scary as usual. Shinohara was frozen in shock, and the girls around her were angry. When the teacher came, things sort of settled down. But after that, whenever Kento shows up to school, the classroom is tense. Oh, what a horrible atmosphere. That day, I went home immediately since I'm part of the Go Home Club. Huh? Kento? I saw Kento sitting on a park bench when I just about got home. He was looking beat up like he had gotten into a fight. It looks like he's in pain. Whoa, he's bleeding. He looks like he's about to topple over. Just as I was about to rush to help him, a car stopped in front of the park. And when I saw who got out of the car, I stopped. Kento-kun, are you okay? It was Shinohara. She ran up to Kento with all her heart and soul. Shut up, don't get involved. Get away from me. But you're bleeding. Didn't I say shut up? Dang, you're annoying. Get out of here! Didn't you tell me to leave it up to others? I'm aiming to be a nurse. I even brought a first aid kit. Your clothes will get dirty. Please be quiet. Kento got quiet. I've been wanting to thank you since the paint incident. Thank you for helping me. And scolding me. I thought since I had this body, I had to do my best or everyone would get tired of me and started to hate me. But that's not the case. It's okay to rely on others. You helped me realize that. What's with this rom-com development? I stared at them with my eyes wide. 
Kento clicked his tongue, but he's fully accepting Shinohara's help. If they leave together, it'll definitely be a rom-com. That's what I thought, but yay! Kento walked home and Shinohara left in her car. After that, it didn't seem like they were close at school. Maybe I still have a chance. But my ounce of hope crumbled the following week. That day, we went mountain climbing for our extracurricular class. It wasn't a steep mountain, so Shinohara joined us and used a cane. I got lucky and was put in the same group as Shinohara. We didn't talk, but I was super happy just to be close to her. But when we got close to the top, thunder started to rumble, and it suddenly started pouring rain. Listen up, there's a rough spot with a roof up ahead, so go quickly. After our teacher told us this, everyone started frantically running. I started rushing for the rest spot too. Shinohara, who was walking in the back of the group, let out a small shriek and fell. Since she was trying to protect her prosthetic, she ended up hurting her other leg. She looked in pain and couldn't stand up. I rushed over to her, but I didn't know what to do. What should I do? Shinohara-san, are you okay? I'll call the teacher over. Huh? Kento? While I was flustered, Kento suddenly appeared behind me. He looked at Shinohara with an annoyed look on his face. Oh no, is he gonna yell again? But despite my worries, Kento silently turned around and crouched in front of Shinohara. What in the world is he doing? Hurry up and climb on! Huh? Jeez, that prosthetic is annoying. You can't stand, right? I'm giving you a piggyback ride. Hurry up! I'm getting drenched over here! Uh, okay. Ouch! Hey, Motoki! Help Shinohara up! If you're a man, you can at least do that much! Okay! I helped Shinohara get on Kento's back, and he steadily carried her up the mountain path. I glanced at Shinohara's face, and it was beet red. Jeez, since your leg is bad, there was no reason to force yourself out here. Everyone, you're always pushing yourself too hard. Everyone? Ah, you mean your mom. Shut up! You keep your mouth shut! Your mom? Kento's mom's body was weak, and she kept pushing herself. She passed away when we were in elementary school. I see, so that's why you kept telling Shinohara not to push herself. I see. Thank you, Kento-kun. Um, Kento-kun, since we were in the same group, I decided to come. Huh? You say that when I'm standing right here? Shinohara looks like a girl that's completely fallen in love. And Kento doesn't look satisfied either. Looks like my first love was over before it even started. After that day, the distance between Kento and Shinohara has obviously shrunk. I've seen many times Shinohara timidly start up conversation, and Kento, although blunt, talk with her. Recently, I've been seeing Kento initiate the conversation. There you go again, carrying heavy stuff. If your leg breaks, I don't want to hear it. Hand it over. Y yeah sorry Wrong! In this instance, you say... Thanks! <laughs> yeah! When Kento and Shinohara made it to the rest stop, ever since the girls screamed with excitement, the two of them officially became a couple. Word spread quickly, and they were called the best couple in school. Jeez, smiling with such a kind looking face. What happened to the delinquent Kento? That's what I want to say, but it's frustrating, but putting aside his looks, his personality really suits him. Kento mellowed out and gradually started being my friend again. It'd be nice if I could be lovey-dovey with a super cute girlfriend. First off, when the time comes, I need to be able to give her a piggyback ride. So for now, I'll start with muscle training, I suppose.